You know, I would love to legitimately, like really honestly, bring you good news about Detroit. Like just once, I would love to go, yo, man, fucking Detroit, nigga, like, yo, they're getting it done, dude. They out here handling their business. Oh, man, it's looking, yo, they're turning shit around, man. But like every fucking story, <laughs> yo, Jesus, God damn, how much further down can this city go? Fuck. It's not even like it's like the Democrats are doing something bad. No, 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 no. It's not the Republicans. It's not the Democrats. Nah, it's just, yo, just this current generation of human beings on this earth. Uh, just, they do not conform to what it was before. You know, like, it just is what it is. I'm going to show you what the situation is. Because U.S. Steel said it's laying off 200 workers at a Michigan factory. And another one in Gary, Indiana, which another fucking city that's just... Yeah. <laughs> just goddamn nose diving into the fucking deck right now. Like, fuck, man. Y'all motherfuckers ain't even killing terrorists to do it. You're just fucking nose diving into the deck. Damn it. Oh. These layoffs come out. The U.S. Steel said in June to bland the idle two furnaces at Michigan's Great Lakes Works Plant and Gary Works in Indiana, where it doesn't expect any layoffs. U.S. Steel is temporarily cutting 200 workers from its Michigan plant, highlighting the ongoing struggles of a company that President Donald Trump had showcased as benefiting from his administration's steel tariffs. Okay, let's have this conversation. All right, um, they're going to try and make this about Trump and the tariffs. It's not. It has nothing to do with it, and I'm going to show you exactly why. All right, so let's move on to exhibit number two. Like, fucking, I think it's goddamn important we keep moving on. This is a actual, and I mean, website about the actual place that's going to be fucking getting closed down, right? Ah, uh, shit, hang on, where's the thing at? I know I can, oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Great Lake Works, situated along the Detroit River in the communities of Ecorse and River Rouge, Michigan, consists of both steelmaking and finishing facilities. Products manufactured at the plant and cooled include hot rolled, cold rolled, and coated steel sheets that are used primarily by customers in the automotive industry. Say it with me now, automotive industry. All right, now, what's going on in the automotive industry at the moment? Let's see here. Mm, let's check. Oh, wait, that's not, what, that's not the one I wanted. Here we go. Interact. Check us out. New car, continue, go sell, car sales continue to slide in July. Oh, wow. New car, new vehicle sales in the Houston area continue to fall in July, even as interest rates slid and automakers sweeten deals with draw buyers. Local dealers sold 22,890 new vehicles last month. That's a point. That's a 5% drop from the year earlier, according to Texaco. Tex Auto Facts Report from Info Nation, a Sugarland-based provider of automotive data. New truck sales fell 6%, while sales of new sedans fell 3% year over year. This has been onward going. There are companies in the U.S. from Japan, like fucking Honda, all right, are down 19% year over year on their fucking car sales, all right? So, man, listen, what did the automakers decide to do? Let's talk about that one because it's fucking important. Check this shit out, all right? It's all a popularity contest. If you're successful, odds are odds are good that you'll appear next year. If you're the kind of car that perpetually marks manager uh, managers marked as the manager special with a bow that's about that's about to become a begging price, you're going to be asked not to come back yes, next year. You've been cut. So these are all the cars that we will not be seeing next year, and some of these are gonna fucking shock you. Mm. All right, because you go, oh, well, you know, GM cars, they shock, or Ford cars, they suck. Ugh, you're about to learn some shit because Tom Pease is going to educate you. Buick Verano, of course, and I'm saying Chevy product, Chevrolet SS. I thought that motherfucker was been going, to be perfectly real with you. Her <laughs> Dodge Viper. Right? Oh, Honda Accord. What? It's a Japanese car that's being discontinued. But Japanese cars are amazing. And Japanese people are so great. <laughs> Fucking yuppies. <laughs> Hyundai Azera. Oh, wait. That, who the fuck makes that? Is that more Asian people make cars? Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, what else is there? Hyundai Accent. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, Infinity. Oh, 
Yo, man, fucking all these motherfuckers are killing models. Jeep Patriot, got it. Mercedes Benz, right? Mitsubishi Lancer, gone. Not coming to fuck back. Mitsubishi IMF, gone. Not coming back. Nissan Quest, gone. Not coming back. Toyota Prius 5, gone. Not coming back. 2017 Volkswagen CC, guess what? Gone. Not coming to fuck back. And you know what? There's motherfucking more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, hang on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do something real quick. Let me do something real quick. Uh, uh, ah. Let me do something real quick, because there's motherfucking more of these bitches, right? More cars that are being discontinued, right? Let's see here. Come on, down, down, down. All right. We got the Alfa Romeo 4C Cube, which, uh, yo, that's not fucking cool. Like, yo, that's a really amazing fucking car. Legitimately. Like, yo, but I understand. I understand. It's, it's expensive to build. You know what I mean? They are fucking pretty. They're like, they're like a poster car. You know what I'm saying? One of them type of deals. Cadillac ATS, right? Cadillac ATS Coupe. Gone. Chevy City Express discontinued after 2018. Let's see here. What else we got going on? Oh, yeah. Chevy Sonic. Gone. Right. You know, see what I'm saying? Like, yo, they are murdering models. Oh, Ford Fusion. How did the Ford slip in there? Wait a minute. Is that the Ford Taurus too? Ford Taurus to be discontinued by 2020. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? It's not just piece of shit GMs. Ford Fiesta, oh my gosh, look, little Euro boxes, no longer going to be made in America anymore, right? Ford C-Max Hybrid, what the fuck is this shit? Oh my god, the world's coming to a fucking end. This is, the world is not what the fuck you think it is, alright? Ford Focus Sedan, gone, alright? So here's what I'm trying to tell you. All these car makers are no longer making fucking cars, all right? They're just going to be making like the Ford F-150 and the Mustang with Ford. Chevy's going to stick to his truck models and a few SUVs and maybe a couple of small cars, right? You know what I mean? All the sedans are going to be fucking gone. Expect Toyota to get rid of the Camry as well. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> yo, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these cars are not selling anymore. And add to that, the vast majority of these that they were selling were for rental cars. And with the advent of Uber and fucking Lyft... The rental car making rental car market is taking his shit. So you know what I mean? They don't need as many cars as they used to. And you know what I mean? The rental car companies are basically just going to the auction and buying fucking cars. So in summation, what has happened? Well, first off, two hundred workers in Detroit are getting laid off. And for that <sighs> Sorry, homies. Like yo. <laughs> Man, listen, yo, Detroit is fucking terrible. Yo, move out of Detroit. You know what I mean? Like, yo, get your CDLs. You know and I mean? I would say go back to college, but you know the deal, man. It's fucking worthless. Like, don't do that. Like, just don't put yourself into more debt. Um, Learn how to hunt. Learn how to fish. You know what I mean? Y'all up there in Lake Michigan and shit. You know what I mean? Move down south. Like, fucking try to figure out a better way to do things. Get the fuck out of Detroit. You know, like. Sorry, man. You know, I mean, it is what it is. There's more destroyed families, more people going hungry, more city blocks being abandoned. The greatness of America is not what it once was. But anyway, man, stop piece of Pinoy news. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, give me a share. Yo, and subscribe to the fucking channel. Y'all know the deal. Peace.